SL93 boxing back with another quick video. Well, I don't know if it'd be quick or not. I think it might be long actually. <laughs> this is my thoughts on Tyson Fury. Now, like Tyson Fury in general as a fighter. I was watching Boxing Ego, um, his video, where he was trying to trying to respond to Deontay Wilder's response. Like Deontay Wilder gave a response on Instagram, I believe, and he was just giving it. Boxing Ego was just giving his thoughts on what he thinks of it. I think. But that's kind of that's kind of it. And then I was watching that, and I made I was gonna record a video. It would be about what I think of it, like. What I think of what Deontay Wilder said. Deontay Wilder basically said that he is a shame. Something like it's, sh it's a shame to see some person who's on that level not disciplined enough to be a champion. He he couldn't like he was saying that Tyson Fury basically couldn't fight because he's not disciplined enough. Which um, hey, who who? Why are we all surprised, right? Because Tyson Fury, when you look at him, and I'm not trying to make fun of him. When you look at him, he doesn't seem like a physically disciplined human being. I mean, he don't look like an athlete. It is true that just like, you know, you don't have to be ripped or whatever to have power, to have whatever you want to have. But at the same time, rarely do you see fighters looking like that. Even at the heavyweight division, Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. I mean, Anthony Joshua is heavily muscled, but even then, like Deontay Wilder is in shape. He's not as muscular, I don't think, as Anthony Joshua. Klitschko, um, Luis Ortiz, David Hay. I mean, they all are in, like kind of in shape. Tyson Fury, like most people would know, if he took his shirt off, there's images of him with his shirt off. Like when he took his shirt off in the press conference and he was saying, oh, you got bit by the, this fat man. You can't even tell, like, unless you know the face, recognize the face that is Tyson Fury. A normal person will look at that, even if you don't look at it, like, if you don't look at his height, just look at, the, like, his body, you would not know he's an athlete. And I don't think you should be like that. I think you should, because he was, I think his, he was even in worse shape than uh, right now. I think before he was in worse shape. So, in that sense, I don't think Tyson, Tyson Fury seems like a disciplined person. Tyson Fury, you know, for you to be disciplined, you have to be mentally strong. And not always is a person mentally strong if they're not disciplined, because they may be disciplined in other things. But Tyson Fury seem, doesn't seem mentally strong all the time. He seems very mentally weak. If, when I think of a boxer that's mentally weak, I think of Tyson Fury. Like, one of, them, one of the persons I think of is Tyson Fury, because... I heard of, about him having bipolar syndrome or something like that, and then... Um, he, like, I was reading this article where he would suddenly, he, the um, writer said he would suddenly cry. And Tyson Fury would say that he would suddenly cry. He wouldn't even know why he would feel depressed. He would fight depression. And to be honest, a lot of people fight depression. But Tyson Fury seems to, he seems to be losing the battle with depression. It seems like, because he goes crazy. Sometimes he do, does some crazy shit. A lot of people that do crazy shit. One of the reasons they do it is to cover up the depression, to kind of ignore their minds of depression. And I know, I know this because I used to be like that. No, I wouldn't be like, I wasn't like Tyson Fury in the sense that I wouldn't, I wasn't the sort of person who's going to talk about people's dick and then say I'm a homosexual. I don't play that. I'm not like that. But I'm talking about, you know, dep depression and things like that. You know, Tyson Fury really, he kind of... He was really talking about retirement after when he beat Klitschko, right? And him beating Klitschko was, he's an undefeated fighter before the Klitschko fight. So obviously when he given an opportunity to fight Klitschko, he was very motivated. He was, I guess he was disciplined because, hey, he may be, he may look out of shape for a fighter, but he was moving. He had the endurance, he had the stamina, he had the speed, he had, he had great movement, he had amazing movement. Um... So, because I think personally, it's not because who Tyson Fury really is as a fighter. I think it's because he had a huge task ahead of him, beating Vladimir Klitschko. Someone who hasn't been beat for a long, long time. Check his box break. He hasn't been beat for a long time. Yeah, so there you go. He's beat. 
he's beaten Vladimir Klitschko, so obviously he took the training camp seriously, he took everything seriously. He goes, he beats him. It's a great achievement, right? Vlad beating Vladimir Klitschko, like that would have probably is one of the biggest achievements you could have had in boxing. I think the biggest achievement you could have had is beating Floyd Mayweather Jr. And then, you know, I was going to say Andre Ward would be like the second biggest achievement, but I don't even know. Like Andre Ward, pound for pound, will be a better, is a better fighter. But Vladimir Klitschko has been so dominant as a heavy, like no one's really even, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe beating Andre Ward is, in, in my opinion, a better win. It isn't in the better win, in my opinion, but in most people's opinion, I don't really know. But either way, beating Klitschko is a huge deal, no matter how you beat him. Against Klitschko, a win is a win is a win is a win is a win. So he beat Klitschko and we I was happy. I'm from the UK, so of course I'll be happy. Now as he goes on to beat Klitschko, he was talking about retiring. And I was thinking to myself, because there was a rematch clause, right? And this rematch takes place or not? The rematch goes on to supposed to be taking place in... Um, June or July, it was posed for an apparently Tyson Fury had an injury. Now, he, at this point, he's it's postponed again because, again, Wilder said he's not disciplined enough, and that could be true. It may be that he's depressed. Peter Fury, I think that's his name, is that his father or whatever, or is yeah, Peter Fury, said that he was depressed, and especially a lot of things the media has been like it, the pressure from the media really. That's kind of what making that's partly what's making him depressed. And Tyson Fury was always kind of like that. The thing is, looking at that, I respect some of the things that he said. You know, you can say everything about wh whatever you think about homosexual people. You you know, I have nothing against people like that. Like they they can do whatever they want on their own bedroom or whatever. But at the same time, a person should have opinions. Just like you have the right to think that homosexual is right, is okay. He has the right to think that homosexuality is wrong. He's not harming you. He's not doing anything. He's just expressing his opinion. Right? And I love that about him. I, you know, because it. we live in a society where we kind of have this so-called illusion of freedom of speech. Like, you say something that's not accepted as, an, as acceptable. You, and if you give an opinion that's considered unacceptable opinion... You get crucified for, but you know at the same time, it, it, the fact that Tyson Fury is kind of being pressured by the media and things like that, and it's it's really it's happening to him, right? And I, I can believe that because he didn't seem mentally strong before that either. You know, Tyson Fury should have really thought about this. Like, if he knows, he made it clear before many times that I don't give a fuck about what people think. I speak my mind. I speak the truth. Whatever comes to my mind, I say things like that. Well, in that case, you should be aware of the consequences. Like, I respect what he said. But he should respect the consequences. He should be aware. I can't just... Um, you know, here's the thing. Like, if someone comes to rob me... If some... I don't know, man. Like, if I... I don't know. Like, you know, there's certain things that I can... Look, here's, let me give an example. If I leave... If I park a car... You say it's my car... I put some valuables on display. By law, I should be allowed to leave my valuables on display. And if something gets stolen, if something gets stolen, technically, I have done nothing wrong by law. By law, I haven't done anything wrong. Okay? I have the legal right to put my valuables on display unless it's been mentioned somewhere in, in that car park that you're not allowed to do that. Or, I mean, I've never seen that before. But anyway. Now, imagine shit gets stolen. It's technically not my fault. But the first thing people will say is, Oh, you should be aware of the consequences. What if someone steals your stuff? You didn't think before you did that. That's the same thing. Tyson Fury, although I respect what he'd done, he did not think before he'd done it. He should have thought before. Because I'm fairly sure if you insult the homosexual community, I'll... gay people run shit now. Gay people run shit. You can't really get away with saying that, you know, you've insulted the, the I mean, quote unquote, the Jewish media. You've said a lot, lot of things. You've said things about Israel and Palestine. And I agree with you on the stance of Israel and Palestine. But at the same time, you know what line you're treading into. Right. And 
you can't you can't just you can't just go into a swimming pool and expect not to get wet. You just jumped into a swimming pool. You put yourself in that position. So I think Tyson Fury brought himself into that situation. And it's kind of Tyson Fury's fault. If you brought yourself in that situation, you should be prepared for whatever the situation gives um, brings to you. So that's kind of what I think. But at the same time, I don't want to be too hard on Tyson Fury. I'm kind of a bit like, disappointed with him. Two fights back to back. I want to see. If he, if the last fight was lucky, like the Klitschko didn't show up, or was it like that Tyson Fury is the real, real deal? That's kind of what I want to see. I'm not too bothered with the fight itself because the first fight was really boring and never got really too exciting. Um, I'm fairly sure this fight will be quite boring as well. There's talks about him versus Joshua. I wouldn't mind that. Excuse me. If anything, I thought that'd be, I think that'd be a more interesting fight. But I don't want to be too hard on Tyson Fury because. Some of the things that he does, as I said, like, you know, um, being depressed, letting depression get in the best of them to a point where you can't perform at your best. Actually, I'll make a new video on that. I'll make a quick video because that might, this video is getting too long. I don't want to, I don't like making videos that are too, too long because I think, I don't know, man. So yeah, that's kind of really what I wanted to say. I think some of the things that he brought into, onto himself. And he should have been prepared for that. That's really my thoughts. Uh, what do you have to say to this? Comment below. And I will see you next time.